Oh man, I think I've made this mistake once again. Just got this Canon FD in the mail. Came in like two days from Russia or somewhere. I was um, scrolling eBay, as you do, um, waiting for Cora to go to sleep. We're in the process of trying to get her to go to sleep by herself, but we're still laying next to her in her bed while she falls asleep. She's like four and a half, so that's the plan for the next couple of years to, next couple of months, hopefully, probably years, to have her go to bed and just chill out by herself so we can get on with our lives. So it was like a hundred bucks, this 35 to 105 Canon FD. I was gonna put it in the housing um, just to get a bit of a different look, but having played with it for like not even that long, it's just not gonna work. And probably because it's me and not the lens, the lens is actually the same age as me, 42 years old, and I'm gonna take operator error on this one instead of blaming it on the lens. A bit of backstory. This would have been probably 2015 and I built up a collection of FD primes and zooms and I had the Ed Mika FD to EF conversion. So I like hacked into the lenses, wore my white gloves so that no oils got on the elements. They worked pretty good. I still had infinity focus and shot a lot of projects on it just to get that kind of different look. I was shooting on the red Epic at the time did a couple of trips to Indonesia and just a whole bunch of corporates that worked pretty well for it. After shooting them for probably two years, I shot one project and the whole thing was out of focus. I don't know what happened to it. I didn't tell them that. I just put so much sharpening in post. Maybe something got banged. I don't even know what happened, but yeah, I lost a lot of confidence in them and ended up selling them off for basically what I paid for it. So, you know, got a couple of years use out of it. recently shot a project for South Australia Tourism. I was just there to shoot the sea lions and some of the lifestyle transition sections. The DP, Katie, was shooting the whole thing on the Canon K35s. As much as I wanted to shoot on the K35s, when you're adding in underwater elements, four talent, surface feed, Teradex signals to like 20 people watching the monitors, the last thing you want to do is be playing with <laughs> finding focus on a K35 or wishing you're on the 35 instead of the 24 or whatever it may be. So I shot that on the WACP with the 18 to 55. Once again, I had to go through the producer talk of, sure, the lens is $100, but the WACP at $7,000 is worth it because I've got full range. It's the sharpest corner to corner, all that sort of jazz that I've been through a number of times before. At the same time, I was thinking, I would really love to shoot this on K35s. We had a couple of above water scenes which the WACP wouldn't work for, so I switched to the Sigma 18 to 35 and put a quarter pro mist on it. And I think I shot a like F2 with ND to Oblivion and um, did the ISO trick of like 1280. It looked super nice. Long story long, going back to waiting for Cora to fall asleep on eBay, I saw this $100 35 to 105 and thought, I reckon that'd fit in the new housing. I've got the Canon R5C, and the coolest thing with that is the variable ND adapter from RF to EF. I don't need the aperture control, so that cuts down one of the controls on the ports. And this is at like probably nine o'clock when I'm just like, go to sleep, Cora, I've got stuff to do. So I bought it, it arrived today, threw it straight on the C300 to see what it looks like and already I can tell that it's not going to work for the underwater housing. I've got a monitor here as well so I can check if I'm in focus because even though I've got a wireless thing, I, I don't even know where this is. I think I'm at like infinity on the lens and macro setting. I don't even know. I really don't want to jump back into the Edmica adapters just for a bit of lower contrast. Probably should have been paying more attention to Cora as she's falling asleep and just you know, making sure she has good dreams and a big girl sleep. But life is so busy at the moment that using vintage in a housing when shooting underwater, I think is just gonna complicate things. As much as I like the feel, I can probably get a little bit of a, a tweak of my other lenses. And I've got a Helios 44, which at 58 mil is a really nice focal length and has that swirly bokeh, 
lower contrast and it's already been adapted to an EF mount so it works fine in the housing. I think the moral to this story is just keep it simple. Focus on your family, focus on yourself and just let gear be gear. Try not to complicate things especially when you're underwater dealing with wildlife or your own health and safety. Oh, maybe I could funk up the Sigma. Got an idea. Whoa. Kind of digging it. So this is the Sigma 50 Prime with a Black Pro Mist quarter and a Black Pro Mist full. So one and a quarter. And uh, yeah, it has autofocus. So if I want that lower contrast, bit of a bit of a thing, like what is happening with that thing? I dig it. All this sort of stuff as well. I don't know. Kind of digging it. And it's got autofocus and all the niceties of modern lenses with a really funky look. I gotta do some actual work. All right, later.